Over 126,000 irregular migrants and asylum seekers arrived in Greece in 2009. The vast majority of those fleeing war-torn countries came through the Greek-Turkish land and sea borders. The journey, by sea or by land, is fraught with dangers. But on arrival, their ordeal is only just beginning. Individuals are arrested and issued with deportation orders. They can then, by law, be locked up for six months waiting for a decision. Amnesty International's latest report on irregular migrants and asylum seekers in Greece documents their appalling treatment while in detention. We, we saw people being in overcrowded conditions, be, being unable to have access to the toilet facilities, lack of complete lack of hygiene products in some areas, like there's nothing being given to them, like toothpastes, um, soap to wash themselves. Asylum seekers and irregular migrants are not criminals, yet the Greek authorities treat them as such. Unaccompanied children are often detained with adults, illegal under international law. I felt very sad seeing their faces uh, when in one of the places we visited, so seeing them and in, in, in looking, they looked, they looked lost. The authorities said to us, you know, we need to detain them in order to keep them safe. Uh, because if you let them go, they're going to uh, face trafficking, uh, traffickers, and you know, their life is more in danger. But then they contradicted themselves by saying to us, you know, if we don't find a place after three months, we will let them go. This is a human danger. 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 From over 30,000 asylum applicants examined in 2009, only 36 were granted refugee protection status. Many don't even apply for asylum for fear of prolonged detention. The thousands who are refused asylum find themselves in limbo, living on the streets. They are desperate to leave Greece and in constant fear of being rearrested. There is a proposal to move the process of asylum applications from the police to a new authority to screen detainees properly and to restore the right to appeal decisions, giving hundreds a chance at being granted asylum. The plans have good intentions, but we have to go and see how they're implemented in practice. Detention should not be used as a mechanism to control migration. And furthermore, it shouldn't be used as a, as a control measure to deter people who want to seek protection, to apply for this protection.